We're here today in northern New Jersey. A big storm front just pushed through. It's super windy, chilly. We're gonna fly the TBM 940 right on down to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Let's get this started. All right, welcome aboard the TBM 940 up in northern New Jersey. We're going to fly it down to Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport down in South Florida. Start this thing up. Get the boost pump coming on. Everything looks good. Clear outside. We're going to go to starter for two seconds. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Release. The switch is spring loaded. We're watching the ITT for a hot start, NG for a hung start. NG stabilize, introduce fuel to low idle. Uh, watching for our light off. Looks like the ITT is going to temp out at 6.56. Now it's going to wind back down as the NG gets full rotation. Our secondary fuel nozzles are going to kick in right there. Good start. All right, so I am very excited to have you guys on board today. All right, so first thing is we'll uh, taxi this thing away from the FBO so we're not making so much noise for him. This is an uncontrolled airfield here. And we'll pick up the uh, weather here. Wind two niner zero at two zero peak gusts three three. Visibility one zero. Sky condition broken two thousand one hundred. Overcast two thousand eight hundred. Temperature one one Celsius. Dew point zero six Celsius. Altimeter two niner one niner Monmouth Executive Airport Automated Weather Observation one niner one niner Zulu Wind two niner zero at one niner peak gusts three All right, three we got the weather there visibility We'll go over uh, to the clearance and pick up our IFR clearance here on the ground. Acquire clearance. Good afternoon, TBM November. 949 Bravo Zulu, over at Mammoth on the ground. We're going to pick up our IFR. Bravo 949 Bravo Zulu, McGuire Airport. Correction, McGuire Clearance. You're cleared to Foxtrot X ray Echo Airport via upon entering control to airspace. Proceed direct Delta, India, X ray, India, Echo. To Thomas, it's Tango Hotel, Mike Alpha Sierra. Then it's off. On departure, climb maintain 2000. Expect flight level 28010 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 126.4. Spot correction 126.47. Squawk 7111. Clear down to Fort Lauderdale Executive. Upon entering control airspace, direct Dixie Thomas as well. Maintain 2280 10 minutes after 2647. Departure frequency squawking 7111. Or 949 Bravo Zulu. 
Clear 9, Bravo. This is Zulu, you read back is correct. Hold for release. Advisement number one for departure with departure runway. Roger, we'll be hold, uh, we'll advise when we get to runway 32. We'll uh, give you a call on number one. 949, Bravo Zulu. All right, so we got our clearance. We got that all set up in the systems of the airplane. We can uh, taxi over to runway 32 since the winds are coming out of the uh, northwest. Pretty uh, gusty today. And uh, we'll give them a call once we get over there. And we're holding short as number one on, at the runway. But our flaps down, if you look out there, see the flaps are coming down. And now we'll monitor the Unicom here again. So yeah, I'm excited to have you on board. This is uh, my brand new part-time job here, flying this 940 for a gentleman named Isaac. Awesome guy. Mammoth traffic, TBM taxiing off the ramp at the FBO to runway 32, Mammoth traffic. Yeah, it is a gusty, windy day. It's probably gonna be pretty bumpy when we take off here. Look out there at the wings, you see we just tested the flight controls. This airplane has auto throttle, which is an amazing system. So we're gonna arm the auto throttle once we get lined up on the runway. So here's the hold short lines right up here. We'll come to a stop here and call McGuire clearance once again. Now that we're number one and ready to go. McGuire clearance, number 949 Bravo Zulu, we're hold short at 32 or number one. Number 9 Bravo Zulu, uh, hold for release for coordination. Holding short for 949 Bravo Zulu. Hey, if you guys like these videos, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. Also ring the little bell to let you know if I want to upload a video. Clear 9 Bravo Zulu, you for departure. Clearing flight is not off in two minutes. It's not off in two minutes. Advise McGuire, Rapcon not later than seven minutes of intention. The McGuire altimeter 2924. 2924, and we'll off with the two minutes. We'll advise 949 Bravo Zulu, thanks. Thank you. All right, we are good to go, guys. Just have to be off the ground here within two minutes. Everything looks good. On the traffic, TBM, we're taking the runway 32. We take northwest traffic to the south on the traffic. Clear on final. Clear down the runway. Boy, I came down here, just landed here a little bit ago. It was super heavy rain, really bumpy. So here we go. We're all lined up on the runway. Now here's what's awesome about the auto throttle. I'm going to advance the power, and you're going to hear a little click. There we go, I armed the auto throttle. Takeoff power is set, now the auto throttle is armed. And I don't really have to do much with the uh, power settings, there's our rotation speed. Positive rate and indicating. We'll select gear up. And here's where we're going to get Hope you guys got your seatbelt on tight, because it's going to get bumpy. There we go, gear is up. And we'll go flap selected up, yaw damper on. On the traffic, TBM, left crosswind off 3-2, and we'll be doing left traffic, part of the south, on the traffic. 1,000 to go. Our task is clear, no traffic is around this area. And we'll put the autopilot on, and we're going to climb in flight level change mode, which will pitch us for 124. And we'll go over to the departure. And departure, good afternoon. TBM November 949, Bravo Zulu, with the 11 out of 2000. Hey, sounds like we got a little shot out there. TBM 9, Bravo Zulu, uh, day yard, radar contact 3 southwest of Belmont, climb maintain 6000. Position checks, climb maintain 6000, November 949, Bravo Zulu. Hello. Hello. Alright, he's got us on his, uh, on his uh, scope there, and we're climb maintain 6000. We'll go full screen here in the middle of this play right here, I like that, that looks nice. I actually put the uh, sunglasses on, now that we're going right into that sun. Oh, look at there, guys. We're now going above this cloud layer. Beautiful view as we climb up out of the gloom up into the uh, beautiful blue sky. So what's nice about the TVM 940, normally you, when you go into nav mode, you'd have to turn your heading book around to keep matching it up. Well, with this one, you push and hold the heading, and it syncs it to whatever heading you're on. The whole time you're in uh, 
nav mode. So the head bug will stay synced, so you never have to always keep adjusting it to keep it synced up. So it's in sync mode, it says. Oh, look at off that left wing. Beautiful view out there. We're leveling out here. The auto throttle is managing everything with the uh, throttle system, which is really nice. And we're in FMS mode here. And then you could also turn the dial to go to manual mode to dial in a desired speed that you'd want. But right now we're in FMS mode with the auto throttle. And it won't let us go above 250 knots as we're below 10,000 feet. This is the G3000. It's a great avionics package. Number nine, Bravo Zulu, climb, maintain 8,000, contact Washington Center, 127.7. 127.7, climb, maintain 8,000, 949, Bravo Zulu, thanks. Washington, good afternoon, number 949, Bravo Zulu, level out 8,000. 949, Bravo Zulu, Washington Center, the Atlantic City Altimeter, 2919. 2919, Bravo Zulu. There we are, level at 8,000. So we have, on this flight, we have very, very strong headwinds. Put our armrest down, get comfortable here. There we go. 949 Bravo Zulu, climb and maintain 15,000. Climb and maintain 15,000, 949 Bravo Zulu. 15,000 set, flight level change button. And that's gonna pitch for a climb rate out of 124 knots. Passenger 10,000 feet, checking our pressurization. That's also all automatically adjusted and it's looking really good right there it looks like we got a climb rate of 4,300 feet a minute that was the uh, what we peaked out at there and that's with full fuel going through one zero thousand so yeah my full-time job that I've been doing for the longest time was with the TBM850 right it and recently just finally came out of maintenance to the right and, and my down at owner down has right stated that he wants to sell the airplane I keep trying to talk him out of it. So we'll see what's going to be happening with that. This is uh, my new part time job. Center, I fly with this gentleman. We're going to be going down to Panama here in the future. And up here in Jersey, taking this airplane on all kinds of fun adventures. But as far as a full time job, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with that. We're leveling out at 15,000 here. Actually, we can turn off our inertial separator. A little button down here by my left knee. Pushing that now, it's all going off. Switching the direction of the airflow, we're getting more air into the engine. Which means we're going to get a torque rise. Normally I'd have to pull the torque back, but with the auto throttle it's going to manage it, so we don't get an over torque. And we're going to get a cooler. After Thomas, clear to Glia. After Thomas, directly at 949 Bravo Zulu. Alright, great. So after Thomas, we're going to go direct to Glia. So yeah, like I said, with the uh, old 850, I'd have to pull the power back manually so it, I don't get an over torque. But with this auto throttle system, it keeps everything in check. Even though it's supposed to do what it, it's made to do, you still monitor to make sure it's working properly. Beautiful view out the front there. And if you look down here at the iPad, this is the big system that just pushed through that, that was uh, actually over the airport where we were at when I started filming the pre flight and all that stuff. This is our routing. And we're going to go right on down over the middle of the uh, Atlantic Ocean out there. We do have a life raft in the back here if we have an issue. Because we're going to be without, we're not going to be in with the gliding distance of land over that area. Right on down into Fort Lauderdale. This is the iPad Mini 6. And I use the pivot case and the mounting system. You can easily switch it out to different airplanes. Launch your iPad on and off. Center, nine, if you guys want to have a system like this for your airplane, down in the description below, you can save 15% with my discount code. It's a great uh, setup. I really enjoy having it like this. And if you think this looks fun to fly up here around, uh, whether it's for fun or as a career in aviation, I partnered with PilotInstitute.com. Click down in the description below. They have a lot of amazing free courses, and they also have the amazing paid courses to help you guide you right through your flight training. Private pilot, instrument, commercial, and you can uh, start all that training right from the comforts of your home. So yeah, be sure to check out thepilotinstitute.com. That's all linked right in the description below. And then maintain one four thousand. One four thousand. Waterman six zero three. We want to zoom out on our map here a little bit. American twenty five twenty three contact level approach one three three point eight seven. You can see there's that big storm. All just to the north of us.
Also, look at all the snow. Got a bunch of snow over there. Happening across a couple states there. 949 Bravo Zulu, plan to maintain 17,000. Maintain 17,000, 949 Bravo Zulu. 17,000 set and flight level change button and once again. And what's nice about climbing with the flight level change system with the 949 Bravo Zulu, climb and maintain level 240. Climb and maintain level 240, 949 Bravo Zulu. Number 949 Bravo Zulu, Sonic Washington Center, 121.02. 121.02, 949 Bravo Zulu. Washington, good afternoon, November 949 Bravo Zulu, 17,000, climb at 240. November 49 or 49 Bravo Zulu on Santa. And we're about to pass through seven, seven, Papa Golf, clear direct. into the flight Five, levels here. I'm going to see it give it a little work if we didn't do it Crypto on our own. There we go, it's blinking. So we're going to go to standard barrel of 2992. Yeah, right now we have a 66 knot direct headwind right on our nose. So this is going to be a lot longer of a flight than what I just had coming up here to New Jersey. Thankfully I got some snacks. And once we get up to cruise altitude, we'll put some XM radio on. How are you guys enjoying the Flight new 940 here so far? Good? Good, glad to hear. United 1789 resume normal What's pretty amazing speed, is the guy who, Isaac, three, who bought this airplane, zero. he just bought this airplane, speed, he just got his private zero, pilot license, and he's working through his ratings. He just put in an order for a brand new TVM 960 which will come in next uh, November, December of 2024. It's going to be a brand new model. So we'll only really be flying this 940, which I think is a great looking 940, around a year. And then we'll, he'll be selling this and uh, transitioning to the 960. So pretty exciting. Pretty exciting flight. 230, November 9, Bravo Zulu, climb and maintain flight level 260. I'm going to maintain 260, 9 Bravo Zulu. 260 and flight will change. 9 yes. Bravo Zulu, climb and maintain flight level 280. Climb and maintain flight level 280, 9 Bravo Zulu. And there we go, up to our cruise altitude. 280 and flight will change button has been pushed. So one thing that's really cool down here on these touch screens, if you go to our destination, we go to waypoint info. You can check the weather there, METAR decoded. That's the weather. If you go back, Big Stripe 502, climb and maintain flight level 360. You can also go Big Stripe 502. to frequencies. Put the ATIS, we'll put that active in COM2. And then what we put next is ground, put that in COM2 standby. Before you right go there, here. company traffic, 12 o'clock. The ATIS and, uh, and the ground is all set up in our COM2, ready Remember? to go. So there we go, guys. This is United 1819 flight level 280. United 1819, Washington Center, climb and maintain flight level 260. So we're here at cruise altitude, and I'm looking at our fuel quantity on board, and our fuel rings, and how much we're going to have remaining when we get that full auto executive. And it's cutting it just a little bit too close for me. Looks like we're barely going to have our minimum fuel reserve for when we land. I mean, the winds have just picked up massively United today. We've got a direct headwind over 100 zero knots. Two. So Three I'm actually going to ask to deviate to an alternate. I picked Wilmington, which is basically right on our route, and we'll land at Wilmington just to get some more fuel to make it down to Fort Lardo. So that's going to be DJ the plan here. DJ. You can go right I mean, DJ. when I did the flight planning in this, uh, it showed that we had plenty of fuel to get with our reserves. But the way the winds have gone with that big storm today, things have changed drastically. Washington, number 9, 49 Bravo Zulu. Does somebody have something, Bravo Zulu, go ahead. Yeah, it's a uh, TVM, number 949 Bravo Zulu. Looks like uh, due to the headwinds, we're really losing our fuel range up here. Uh, can we divert to uh, Wilmington, Kilo, India, Lima, Mike? Number 949 Bravo Zulu, you're now cleared to the Wilmington Airport, India, Lima, Mike. Via direct, maintain flight level 280. Uh, direct Wilmington, and maintain 280, thanks. Uh, 949 Bravo Zulu. All right, so that's our best bet here. When it comes down to it, and we'll get all briefed and set up for our arrival there at Wilmington. American 2175. Now, when it comes to that, I mean, with that big storm system, this was a massive system that went through the United States today. And when I initially did the flight planning, everything looked good. But with the circumstances of this system, with how the winds have, locked, have worked out, I don't want to take the chance of going 
Air even close to the minimum on fuel. I'd rather just okay. get some fuel and that way you don't have to stress it. So Wilmington is now our new destination. I'll get that all briefed and I'll catch you guys closer as we get uh, closer to Wilmington. Ascent down into Wilmington. We're under 200 knots right now. We'll turn on the inertial separator. We'll switch down here by my left knee. There we go. We pushed it to on. Never About 30 seconds or so, we'll get the inertial separator on the CAS. So it's basically just turning the two flaps up there in the intake to divert more air out of the intake in case we were to adjust the burden. Thank you, 3-1. Did I miss the check-in? Currently level at 1-1,000 feet. There's our inertial separator on the cast. Now we can go back to FMS mode to speed this thing back up. 2-9-0-6-3. 2-9-0-6-3. Auto throttles. Going right up to 100% to get us back up to speed. And we can go over and monitor and get the ATIS there at Wilmington. Point time for Asian India, 2053 Zulu, wind 270 gust 19 visibility 10, sky clear below 12,000, temperature 17, 2.06, altimeter 2963. Those are approaching east landing and departing runway 24. Bottoms, Wellington, Borchak, out of service. Passengers contact, you have India. All right, we have India. Every hour, the airport's put out. 31, descend and maintain 1, 1,000. An identifier with the local information, so that way when we check in, they know we have the most recent weather information. And I got ground set up at COM2. Good to stay ahead of the flight here. That way we want to clear the runway. Instead of dialing in a bunch of numbers, you just push the... Go over to COM2, and we're right there with uh, ground frequency. Sir, 9 Bravo, Zulu, Wilmington approach, Wilmington altimeter 29 or 64. Expect vectors for the visual approach, runway 24, descent and maintain 6,000. Sir, descent maintain 6,000, expect the visual for 24, 949 Bravo, Zulu. All right, 6,000 set. And we'll go to the VS mode and VS mode that down at 1,500 feet a minute. Sounds good to me. And we're passing through 10,000 feet. Pressurization looks good. Everything checks out good. I got tower frequency set up next, which I believe is what we'll be switching over to, just to continue to stay ahead of the flight. Sir, Nano Bravo Zulu, descend and maintain 4,000. Descend maintain 4,000, Nano Bravo Zulu. 4,000 set. There you go, get some views off the left wing of North Carolina. Very brown at this time of year. So Wilmington was a great stop for me on this fuel stop as it was right along our route and it was right before we were about to cut over to go across out over the ocean. So this is basically worked out to be the best option. 1,000 to go. Air Niner Bravo Zulu, fly heading 230 for sequence. 230, Niner Bravo Zulu. 230, I'm going to heading mode. It's nice and smooth now, but I have a feeling it's going to get bumpy a little bit lower we go here. And we're gonna have that sun right in our face. Nine Bravo Zulu, turn left heading one five zero to set and maintain three thousand. One five zero three thousand. Nine Bravo Zulu. There we go. We'll VS that down again. One thousand five hundred feet a minute down. And a good look down there as we're making our turn. This is basically setting us up on a right base for only two four. Romeo November 215, turn right heading 150, maintain that or above 2000. There you got the view of the Atlantic Ocean out there to the east. And we're starting to pick up those bumps from the, the windy conditions here. 
Center, Niner Bravo, Zulu, turn right hitting 210, join the final approach course. 210 to join the final approach course for runway 24, Niner Bravo, Zulu. There we from go. From November 215, four miles from Wilsey, turn right hitting 210, maintain VFR until the south on the final approach course, until the south on the localizer, clear we'll LSD and key, runway 24 approach. I just have a visual approach set up for just good awareness in the, in the airplane here. It's not an approach, it's just a, a visual line to give you a reference to where you're at. Turn 4 Echo Echo to send to maintain 6000. Now we'll go into nav mode. That'll capture our. Uh, from November 215, maintain present speed course or better. Into, uh, Turn November 215, maintain present speed or greater. We can actually slow it up probably a little bit. It sounds like maybe we'll, we're following in someone a little slower. Okay, okay, 3208, Wilmington departure. It's about we got 175 knots, that puts us under our flapping gear speed. Wow, that sun is bright. Turn down Bravo Zulu, reduce speed to 170. Reduce to 170, Niner Bravo Zulu. Just as expected. So 170 set with their auto throttle. That's what makes this auto throttle so nice. Check that 4423 to send and maintain 4000. And here comes 4000, but shared 4423. The course in for the visual. Cap 3208, you can proceed on course. I got the runway in sight out there. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. I can barely see it because it's so, so bright. But that sun, looking good though. Turn down to Bravo Zulu, maintain 150 knots or less. 150 knots or less, Turn down Bravo Zulu. We'll even give the guy a little bit more space so he doesn't have his breathing. Turn down to Bravo Zulu, contact tower 1100.9. Over to tower, Niner Bravo Zulu, thanks for help. Wellington Tower, good afternoon. TBM 949 Bravo Zulu, on the visual for 24. TBM 949er Bravo Zulu, Wilmington Tower, wind 2708, runway 824, clear to land, number 2. Clear to land, runway 24, 949 Bravo Zulu. Alright, we'll go gear down, select it. And we'll disconnect the autopilot. And the auto, auto throttle. Auto throttle is also disconnected. And we'll go first notch of flaps, select it. And indicating. Got my handy little visor down here in front of us. Tower Bridge 4423, visual 24. Correct, Tower 4423, Wilmington Tower, wind 260 at Niner, runway 24, clear to land, number 3. Clear to land, 24, Bridge 4423. Just over the outer marker here. And we're going to use the FBO Modern Aviation, I think it's what it's called, right at the very end of the runway, so we don't have to really worry about jamming on the brakes real hard or anything. Yeah, we got a 17 knot direct kind of headwind coming off a little bit off, off the right right now. Feels like we're barely moving now. Tower yeah, Red Knight 215, XCN climb out. Red Knight 215, contact departure today. Red Knight 215, contact departure. Looking good. We got a highway down there right below us. I've never been to Wilmington first time for me. The lights on the left side of the runway, we're right on our proper glide path area, on our visual approach. That was 500. Five, 500 feet to the ground. It's always fun flying into a new area. Minimums, minimums. That would have been the minimums on, if we were on an approach on the ILS for this runway. That's where we're going to head. To decide if we see the runway environment to land, or we're going to head to go back up into the sky. All right, so we're looking good. We're going to ease the power back to flight idle. Go to the flare. Holding it off. Airspeed. There we go. Center line. Let's go back into a beta here with the uh, throttle. Not too bad. TBM Niner Bravo Zulu, turn right at Foxtrot, cross runway 35, contact ground point Niner. Right on Foxtrot, cross 35, over to ground at Niner, 4 Niner Bravo Zulu. 4,000. All right. Here is Foxtrot. We're cleared to cross 35. And we'll go to ground. Even though we're cleared to cross, still look. Clear to left, clear to the right. 
Rolling 10 ground. Good afternoon. November 949, Bravo Zulu. Just crossing 35 on Fox Track. You want to go into modern deviation, FBO? TBM 949, Bravo Zulu. Ground taxi to the ramp. Yeah, Alpha. Alpha and his ramp. Thanks. 949, Bravo Zulu. Can do a quick stop right here and clean the plane up. And set a timer. Two minutes. That the, uh, it has to be a flight idle. And Alpha into the ramp. There's modern aviation right over here to the right. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. It did smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. It did not go as planned today, thanks to Mother Nature, but, you know, that's why you always got to keep your plan B an option things like that happen. That forecast really switched around today with that big, massive weather front that went through the United States. It caused all kinds of havoc. If you look down here at the iPad, it's where you can see right here where we are on the taxiway. Taxiing into the ramp. I just gotta look for a marshaller. I've never been to this FBO. Looking out the front. Okay, I see a marshaller in sight. Good deal. Well, guys, I hope you're all doing well wherever you're watching from. Thanks for joining me on this flight in the TDM 940. And uh, we'll talk to you again someday soon. Take care, everybody. Proceed Foxtrot, hold short, both runways. Airport 2, come proceed Foxtrot, hold short, both runways on Foxtrot. Airport 2, correction, proceed Bravo, make the right turn on 17 and hold short of Foxtrot. A vision jet will be landing, they'll roll in front of you. Airport 2, go Bravo, hold short of 17 on Bravo. Airport 2, 